everybody. This is CTE Live with Uniworld and uh, with Mr. Eddie Mestri. And um, welcome, Eddie. And thank you so much, Michael. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm glad you could be here. And uh, my lovely wife, Kelly, is joining us today. Hi, everybody. Hi, Kelly. Kelly and I were fortunate enough uh, to go on a river cruise with Uniworld in 2015. And um, I know it was one of the best river cruises I've ever gone on. I can tell you our, our cruise director's name is Damiano. And when you, I remember somebody's name that I haven't seen in five years, he made an impression. So um, a little housekeeping before we let Eddie take over. Um, if you have any questions, um, there's a Q and A box or there's a chat box. Just type your questions into the chat box. You'll see I've typed, welcome everyone. And I won't, we won't answer them right away. We'll let uh, Eddie get to the end of his presentation. And then I will read back some of the questions. So as you think of them, just type them in the chat box. He might answer those questions anyway without seeing them, just it hasn't gotten to them yet. And uh, if, but if he doesn't, I will certainly uh, call on you and I'll read your question for you. So um, thank you again for joining us for this edition. Uh, we will be recording this, so if you're watching it uh, on record, then obviously you can just send your e your questions by email, and uh, if I can't answer them, Eddie sure can, then I'll get them to him. And my email is michael at mgatravel.com. All right, so um, Eddie, you want to start sharing your screen, and we can learn the differences between Uniworld and U River Cruises. Absolutely. And thank you again, Michael, for, for allowing me to, to host uh, or hosting me and allowing me to present today. Um, and let me go ahead and share my screen here. Yeah, absolutely. And guys, if you think of any questions at all, just, just let us know and uh, I'll be monitoring it. I do turn off my video at some point to let the, uh, the bandwidth stay wide while he's presenting, but I am watching that chat box. And I'll be back on uh, to, um, to ask those questions and uh, talk about talk about a little bit about our sailing and Kelly uh, may do the same. So Eddie, take it away. Tell us about Uniworld, my friend. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Michael. And as Michael mentioned, I am the strategic account manager for Uniworld and you by Uniworld. And Uniworld has actually been around for 44 years, which is the longest out of any river cruise line in Europe. We are family owned. The same owners of Uniworld own the Red Carnation Hotels, African Travel, Insight Vacation, Luxury Gold, Kentucky, Trafalgar, just to name a few of the brands. It is the Tolman family. And Uniworld is an all-inclusive experience. And that is gonna start off with our culinary, which is a farm to table philosophy. So our chefs do get off at the local destinations, go to the farmer's market and get those fresh locally sourced ingredients. Um, so for instance, if we're um, on, on board one of our ships and our chefs get off, they might get truffle if it's in season or asparagus. And if you are going to be visiting some of these beautiful destinations, such as Austria, um, you might have schnitzel on board. If you're in Hungary, there might be goulash. So a lot of the culinary is going to be catered towards those destinations that we're going to be visiting as well. And then all the premium alcohol throughout the whole cruise is also going to be included. So it's not just beer and wine for lunch and dinner. It is going to be all the premium alcohol throughout the whole duration of the cruise. Uh, something I learned a couple months ago is we actually have 18 different whiskeys on board our ship. Uh, 12 different vodkas, 11 different rums, so quite a large variety of options for y'all to choose from. And then we also have the transportation that would be included to and from the airport. So we do uh, pick you up from the airport, bring you to the ship, and then back as well when you return from the cruise. And there's going to be some phenomenal onboard activities, this being one of them, as you can see on the bottom right-hand corner. Some yoga classes, we have TRX bands, there's a fitness center on board all of our ships. And we also have 25 bikes on board our ships that you can use and venture off and explore some of those beautiful cities that we're going to be visiting. Or you can do some of the guided tours that we offer as well, as you can see on the top right hand corner there uh, down the Wachu Valley. Uh, but my favorite part is all the excursions that we offer with Uniworld. We have over 70 exclusive excursions for Uniworld guests. And some of those being, as you can see on the left hand corner, Morning with the Masters, where we visit the Vienna Art Museum, the Van Gogh Museum. We even offer the same kind of experience in the St. Mark's Basilica in the evening time when nobody else is there. So we're visiting these beautiful museums after hours or before all the uh, large crowds visit the, uh, the museums. And then on the right-hand side, you can see 
the chateaus and vineyards that we're visiting um, with some of the wine tastings that would also be available and included in the cost. And then all the gratuities are going to be included for the onboard employees. And our employees are exactly that. They're employees of VinoWorld. They're not just contracted staff members um, that are with us one year and the next year they're with somebody else. Um, as uh, Michael had mentioned, Damiano, he's uh, absolutely phenomenal. He's the cruise director on board what is now called the SS La Valencia. I actually met him a couple years back and, and the average tenureship of our employees is eight and a half years. So they're very loyal, but also very knowledgeable about the rivers and countries that we're gonna be visiting. Um, they all speak English on board um, and you're gonna really receive that very genuine, very anticipatory service on board our ships. We like to say that no request is too large and no detail is too small. And with our employees, we, we have a lot of great uh, health and safety protocols in place for onboard our ships. And this kind of highlights some of them. Uh, as you can see, all the air, con uh, air conditioning filters are gonna be disinfected um, upon e embarkation. Um, all the handrails are gonna be cleaned on an hourly basis and the doorknobs as well. Uh, in the dining room, we're gonna have reserved seating. So guests would be able to sit in the same table every evening to promote social distancing. We are gonna have two different dining times as well. So there'll be an early seating and then a late seating. Um, in the staterooms, we'll have the Vox boxes that are clean upon embarkation as well. They'll have umbrellas in the, um, in the, in the staterooms as, as well versus the common areas as we used to have in the past. All the buses and private transfers are gonna be disinfected before each use. And we'll have face masks, hand sanitizers, not only in the staterooms, the common areas, but also with the motor coaches and buses that we use as well. And we have a lot of phenomenal health and safety protocols in place, which are all highlighted on our website as well, um, in case you do want to see the itemized um, details. And then our ships, our ships are truly exceptional and every single ship that we have in our fleet are going to be unique and different in their own way. No two ships that we have in our fleet are alike and no two suites on board the same ship are going to be alike either. So every single suite on board the same ship is going to be unique and different in their own way. As Michael mentioned, the um, SS La Valencia, which used to be called the River Countess, she went under a multi-million dollar transformation last year, and she is a brand new ship. She is absolutely stunning. And that is a picture of her on the top right-hand corner. And as you can see, all the attention to detail from the fresh fruits to the fresh flowers, even down to the inspired books, uh, Venetian inspired books that we have. Same thing applies on the bottom right-hand corner, all the beautiful Italian imported wood, the fresh fruits, the Parisian inspired books. Um, we even have a Picasso in this particular stateroom, which is suite 401. So we have a lot of well-known artists on board from Matisse to Moreau. As you can see here, I'm, I wish on board the Maria Teresa with the gilded staircase, um, hand-painted fresco ceilings. So I mean, just amazing artwork on board all of our ships. We even have uh, four ships as well. The left-hand corner, you can see the SS Bon Voyage. She's the only ship that we have that has an outdoor infinity pool. And then four of our ships have indoor swimming pools, along with two ships having movie theaters on board. So just very unique amenities that would be included. And as you can see on the, the bottom left-hand corner, that SS Maria Teresa that I mentioned, the Bon Voyage on the right with that infinity pool, and then very much French inspired, um, not only cuisine, but the decor, as you can see, very Parisian in our SS Joie de Vie that we offer doing Paris and Normandy. So where do we travel? We are predominantly in Europe. We do have most of our ships in Europe, but we have some great exotic destinations that we visit as well. Um, I am gonna go over some of our new ships that we have in some of these exotic destinations. But before I do that, I do wanna to touch on that brand new ship that I mentioned, um, which is the SS La Valencia. She went under that multi-million dollar transformation. She has all the beautiful Venetian mask, the Murano glass, as you can see the wine cellar and just a lot of great features that she has. Um, but she's gonna be docked a 10 minute walking distance right from St. Mark Square, which is absolutely incredible. So you can get off the ship, um, walk to the St. Mark Square and see all the beautiful monuments. One of the evenings, we're gonna be visiting St. Mark's Basilica when nobody else is there. I actually had the opportunity to take this cruise and do that exact experience. And it was absolutely stunning because um, it was at about 6.30 in the evening. There was only about 30 of us in the Basilica and it was completely dark. As soon as we walked in, they slowly started to illuminate all the lights and you would see all the golds throughout the entire Basilica, which was just stunning. 
Um, we saw on the altar, there was this beautiful mural and on the back of it, it has all these rubies and gems. It's called um, Palo de Oro. And it was just um, stunning, only shown once a year um, to the general public on feast day. We also visit the beautiful islands of Torcello, Mazorbo, uh, Murano, and Burano. And starting this year, we're overnighting in Burano for one night, which is that incredible island with uh, the colorful houses and all the lace making excursions. We visit Bologna and do a pasta making class there visit Doge's Palace in the morning time. So just a lot of great excursions and experiences as you can see on this particular ship and itinerary. The next new ship that we have for this year is the SS Sao Gabriel. And she's doing our seven day cruise down the Duo River. Incredible experience for wine tastings down that Duo Valley. We have an outdoor pool. We're going into Spain, into Salamanca, Spain and back to Porto. And you also have the opportunity to do some uh, three days beforehand in Lisbon, Portugal. The Mekong Jewel, she is absolutely gorgeous, as you see here with all the, uh, the gold, the marble bathrooms, suites as large as 924 square feet. She is doing our seven day cruise on the Mekong River. We start off in Ho Chi Minh City with the land portion and end in Siem Reap, visiting Angkor Wat and Angkor Tom. So just an absolutely stunning um, ship and also a stunning itinerary. And then the SS Sphinx, she is brand new in Egypt down the Nile River doing seven day cruise. We visit the Luxor Temple after hours with an Egyptologist, visit the Sphinx. Um, so just some incredible experiences that we'll have just for Uniworld guests. And this also is a, a cruise that you do have the opportunity to do an extension where we have uh, five nights pre in Jordan and Petra. And then we also have four nights post in Jerusalem in Israel. And then we also have a, a brand new ship on the Amazon rivers. And this is the Amazon uh, Aria, as you can see only 32 guests. So once again, a very intimate experience with Florida ceiling windows, um, absolutely beautifully appointed and an all suite ship and visiting some of those incredible rivers on the Amazon. We even have extensions to visit Machu Picchu as well. And then in India, we have an incredible ship on the Ganges river. And she does a seven day cruise on the Ganges. We stay also in five star Oberoi properties. Um, right across from the Taj Mahal, we visit the Taj Mahal in the evening time during sunset and also in the morning time during sunrise. And she is the Ganges Voyager too. Um, incredible onboard uh, experiences like yoga rituals. Um, ladies can learn how to tie a sari. We have a fireworks show. So just incredible, incredible onboard life and excursions that would be available. We visit Mother Teresa's home and her tomb. So just great excursions. And then you for 2021, we have our cruise and rail with Venice and the Swiss Alps, which this would be a combination of that incredible seven night cruise I mentioned um, on the Po River, the SS La Valencia, and we combine it with a rail, which would also be all inclusive on the Golden Eagle Danube Express. And this is going into uh, the Swiss Alps and then coming down to Venice, Italy. And once again, all inclusive, the alcoholic beverages, the culinary, um, as you can see here, the L'Occitane toiletries, the turn down service, complimentary tea and coffee all day, and the excursions would also be available. And then for 2022, we have a brand new 14 night Trans-Siberian Express itinerary that would be available visiting Eastern and Western Russia. We have the castles of Transylvania, which is four nights featuring the legend of Dracula castle. And then four nights, on the train from Venice to Istanbul with a two night stay in Istanbul as well. So incredible cruise and rail options that would be available um, starting in 2021. And then for our family generations program, we have um, sailings where kids between the ages of uh, two, oh, I'm sorry, from four to 17 do receive a 25% discount. We have uh, cooking classes for them. There's arts and craft activities for them to enjoy on board. They learn the local language. And then they also receive a 25% discount. So we do have some great itineraries that families um, could all enjoy. And once again, have scavenger hunts and different excursions that the whole family could enjoy and participate in. And then right now we have an incredible promotion with savings up to 30% off on all these incredible itineraries that I mentioned. And this is on 2021 voyages. And this promotion is running through the end of March. So now I wanna switch hats for a second and, and talk about an incredible brand that launched about three years ago now. And this is our You by Uniworld brand. 
Originally, when we launched our You by Unit Award brand, it was going to be catering the millennial and Generation X demographics. So it was strictly going to be between uh, for those between the ages of 21 to 45. But before the brand launched, we decided to lift the age restriction. So now it is for everybody that's 18 and over. Minimum age on board You by Unit Award is 18 years of age. However, we do have six departures this year that are called our Generation Z departures that would be available for kids 13 and older as well. So we do have six departures that kids 13 and over would be able to come on board. But for the most part, all the other sailings are 18 years and older. And the two ships in our fleet, the A and the B, um, they're very modern, very unique, completely different from our sister brand, Uniworld, and completely different from any other river cruise line that's out there. As you can see, the ships are painted a matte black on the exterior, so very modern, very trendy, very chic decor. They light up different colors in the evening time. So one evening, it might be neon pink. Another evening might be neon blue or neon green. So they really stand out on these beautiful rivers that we're going to be visiting. Still very much into the artwork on board you by Uniworld as well. Um, as you can see, just absolutely stunning, beautifully appointed. The decor is, is much more modern and the onboard feel is going to be much more casual as well. You could wear shorts in the dining room. We have the U Lounge where there's um, DJs, local DJs that come on board and perform. We have foosball tables with foosball tournaments. There's karaoke and tequila nights, uh, paint night where you drink wine and paint, mixology classes. So just a lot of great onboard activities in the U Lounge. In the dining room, Everything is paperless on board you by Uniworld. So even in the dining room, we have flat screen TVs with the daily menus that are going to be, as you can see there on, on the back left hand corner um, with a daily menu in the common areas, in the lounges. We're also going to have flat screen TVs with the daily activities and the excursions that would be available for everyone to enjoy. The culinary is also going to be catered towards those incredible destinations that we're going to be visiting. We have vegetarian and vegan options as well. Three meals per day would be included, so breakfast, lunch, and dinner is going to be available on board you by Uniworld. And as you can see, some exceptional dining, that, that five-star uh, farm-to-table philosophy that we offer on board Uniworld would also be av available on board you by Uniworld. And then the accommodations are absolutely stunning. As you can see here, um, the same beds that we have on board Uniworld are also on board you by Uniworld. So those Sauvier beds of England, very famous well-known beds in the UK, we have on board you by Uniworld as well. We have the French balconies, the open air balconies. Uh, once again, a very intimate experience, only 120 guests on board you by Uniworld. And then we have two studios on board each of the two ships, the A and the B, that accommodate triples. So this is great for three friends that are traveling together or even for adults and, and kids that might be traveling together as well. Um, as you can see, each of the bunks have their own flat screen TV. They have their own Bluetooth speakers and their own safe. And then our suites, we have four suites on board each, the A and the B that are 256 square feet. They have the dual French balconies. They're just absolutely beautifully appointed. Marble bathroom throughout, be kind, organic amenities, the dual sinks in the suites as well. Heated towel racks and heated floors. And then on board both the ships, we have a fitness center, which the fitness center is larger than your typical fitness center that we have on board Uniworld. We have Nordic sticks for hikes and 50 bikes on board our ship. So as opposed to 25 bikes, as we have with Uniworld, there are 50 bikes on board you by Uniworld that are painted a matte black, very modern, very trendy, very chic. So the same color of our ships are, are painted the, the bikes as well. And then we have the sun deck, as you can see with the cabanas and day beds, very comfortable feel. I actually had the opportunity to cruise uh, two years ago, two and a half years ago now. And when I was on board, I actually brought my mom that was 61 at the time, my fiance and my 21 year old sister. Uh, so this is great for multi-generational travelers. And one of the evenings that we were in Budapest, it was the evening time. And there was a saxophone player that came on board and started performing. And the parliament on the background was, was all lit up. It was absolutely stunning. The evening was, was dark. And then you see all the lights of the parliament with the saxophone player uh, playing and, and just there for about an hour and a half, which is just absolutely stunning. And then the following day, he came on board and did a collaboration with a DJ when he was playing the saxophone and the DJ was playing some music. So just very unique onboard entertainment that we offer. This is the ice bar on the rooftop deck as well. 
great for entertainment where we have some of those silent disco parties, the paint night, uh, some mixology classes as well. And then the B, very similar to the A, as you saw, um, both the decor and the exterior is gonna be the same, but on the interior, she's gonna be unique in her own way. So the A has a lot more grays, blues, and blacks. And then the B is gonna have a lot more red, blacks, and whites, as you can see here. So the decor would be a little bit unique and different um, on both of the ships. So why are River Cruise with you by Uniworld? Um, as I mentioned, all the meals are gonna be included. So we have three meals per day that are gonna be available for all guests to enjoy. We're including now beer and wine for lunch and dinner. So beer and wine would be available during lunch and dinner. All the, the staterooms have a river view, so we don't have any interior staterooms on any of our ships. The transportation is also included now to and from the airport. So we do pick up all of our guests at the airport, bring them to the ship, and then back as well when they return from the cruise. The onboard gratuities would also be included. And then we have about 11 excursions um, that are going to be included in the cost with you by Uniworld. And then some of those onboard activities that I mentioned, the paint night, mixology classes, and the karaoke evenings. So some of the excursions that we offer, as you can see here, are some of the bike rides down the Wachu Valley. We did a 17 mile bike ride from Dernstein to Melk, and we were cruising through all the small little cobblestone towns, and we we're right on the riverbank down the Wachu Valley, and you can see the ship following us through those riverbanks. So it was just absolutely incredible. And we have some walking tours. I did one in Bratislava, Slovakia that was also included. So just some incredible excursions that would be available and included in the cost. And then we have some U-plus excursions. So we, one of the evenings when we were in Vienna, we had a Mozart and Strauss concert that was available just for you by Uniworld and Uniworld guests. So we were docked in Vienna at the same time that our, our sister brand, Uniworld, was docked there. And it was a private concert hall that had a two and a half hour Mozart and Strauss concert. It was absolutely stunning. They, the performers were incredible. They even brought up some of the guests on the stage to dance as well. And this once again is one of the U plus excursions that would be for an additional cost, but definitely optional. As you can see here, some of the wine tastings down the Wachu Valley and some of the uh, other incredible cities that we're visiting. So where do we go? We have four different itineraries across seven different countries and 26 different ports of call. The first itinerary is rolling on the Rhine. What's really remarkable about these itineraries is that they're very port intensive. And what I mean by that is we're gonna have a lot of overnight stays. So we're in Amsterdam for two nights, as you can see there are the first two nights where you can really explore the nightlife, the restaurants, um, see all the beautiful monuments that these cities have to offer. We're overnight in Frankfurt at the end of the trip as well. So once again, spending a lot of time in these incredible cities, visiting Cologne, Germany with that beautiful cathedral. And then the next itinerary is Amsterdam and Brussels bound. This is brand new for 2021. Um, we had never visited Brussels before in Belgium, and now we're starting off two nights in Brussels. Once again, overnight stays in Amsterdam where you can visit those incredible uh, Kuchenhof Gardens. Um, the, the Anne Frank's house, a Heineken factory, some, some of the canal tours that we offer as well. So a lot of great excursions that would be available there. And then our Vienna vibe starting off in Nuremberg, Germany, ending in Vienna with overnight stays in Nuremberg and also in Vienna. And as you can see, a lot of the excursions are gonna be active on you by Uniworld as well with some of the yoga and the vineyards. We have uh, some hikes, bike rides, some excursions even offer zip lining. So just a lot of great active excursions that would be available, uh, canoeing as well. And then Eastern Europe Escape. This has been a very popular itinerary that's brand new for this year. And we're visiting four different countries throughout the seven night and eight days. So we start off in Vienna, once again, overnight stays in Vienna, which is in Austria. Then we visit Bratislava in Slovakia, Budapest in Hungary, and then ending in Belgrade, Serbia with overnight stays in Belgrade. We even have an excursion that would be available going into Croatia where we visit a local family um, and their farm and we have a, a, a home cooked lunch prepared for us in uh, Croatia. So you could even visit five different countries on the seven night, eight day cruise. So I wanna thank you all so much for joining me today on the webinar. I think I saw a couple of questions that, that came across. 
Um, I do hope that this gives you uh, a little bit of an overview of what we offer and the differences of Uniworld and also you by Uniworld. They are both absolutely incredible experiences, incredible brands, and they have uh, something for everybody to enjoy, a little bit of, of something for everybody to, to enjoy on board and at the different destinations that we're, that we're off. Thank you very much, Eddie. That's excellent. Um, yeah, we do have some questions. Um, please leave your screen up there, your screen share up there for us. Um, real quick, everybody, um, if you're watching this on the recording, then uh, obviously you can't type your question into the chat box, but you can certainly send an email to michael at mgatravel.com. Um, while you're doing it, hit the subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified the next uh, CTE Live that comes out. Um, Eddie, the first one, can you just give us a kind of the short answer of what is the difference between Uniworld River Cruises and you buy Uniworld River Cruises? Yes, absolutely. Great question. So the average age demographics on board you buy Uniworld is 40 to 45, I would say. Um, with Uniworld, it is going to be um, about 65 is the average age or the, the minimum, not minimum age, but I would say is the the average age, 65 to 70 um, for Uniworld. And the decor, I would say, is one of the, the biggest um, differences. It is going to be more modern, more trendy decor. And it is going to be a lot more of a casual atmosphere on board Uniworld. Um, and more active excursions is what I would say are the main differences between the two brands. And for me, you know, I've been on on uh, both a cruise with Uniworld and I've been on a U by Uniworld ship. And um, I think the decor is strikingly different from one another. I mean, Uniworld, what's really cool is every ship is unique from one another, but I would say that they're all elegantly appointed. Um, and the and the U-Bar Uniworld has a really cool, but just a more modern kind of look to it. Um, more and, like a W hotel, maybe. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. I always like to compare our ships um, to the W hotel. So that's a great point, Kelly. Yep. Yeah, but when in 2015, when Kelly and I went uh, on Uniworld, and it was the River Countess at that time, and there's a question on here about the older ships I'll get to in a second, but I couldn't figure out why anybody had to do anything to the River Countess because it was beautiful yeah, when we sure. were on there, and uh, it wasn't in any way old or, or faded or anything, and it was an amazing experience where we had tiny little touches, uh, I think you guys call them, but... Um, you know, uh, we were happened to be hosting a small group of about 20 people on there. And um, many years ago, I was part of the Friendship Force. And um, we had a family come visit us and stay at our home for about a month in, uh, in during the 70s. And they were from Italy. And they had made this really unusual preparation with, with um, peas and onions and eggs or something that's not something you come across every day or even can Google it. And so I think the maitre d' was just talking to my dad who happened to be in the group. And my dad was telling him about this dish. And he was like, you know, cause they were, um, this person was Italian and he's like, I, I don't know anything about that, but I'll talk to the chef and see if he has, see if maybe we can get you a recipe or something like that. Um, of course we were in Venice and then we went up the Po River and um, back and forth. And a couple of days later, it's lunchtime and they bring out to our group's table is this dish. They <laughs> recreated it. They made the dish. <laughs> and that is a tiny little touch. Um, I had somebody else like, I, I think was just overheard speaking about a certain type of dessert they liked. And the next thing you know, that dessert was in their room. So these, uh, that Uniworld experience of being so inclusive, um, but also such a high touch quality of experience intuitive. and service. Okay. Kelly, t what, do you, what did you think about our cruise? Well, it's intuitive service. It's like you get what you want before you even really know that you wanted it yet. So I thought it was amazing. The small, small amount of people on board makes it so personal. And I just, I felt like it was very luxurious without being pretentious. Yeah, I, I would totally agree with that. Okay, um, well, what I'll do is um, at the end of this video, um, you'll see a slideshow of some of our personal photographs from that cruise. And if you're watching this live now, um, I will send a follow-up email to everybody with a link to that slideshow. Um, and you can see some of our experiences uh, on an amazing trip. And by the way, Eddie, we were um, 
when we did this trip, I arranged a private um, rail to get us to Milan and um, had set up this whole pre-cruise things. And now I see you guys have copied it with all this rail and cruise. <laughs> Just kidding. I think it's a great idea. It's a great idea. Okay, let me get to some questions here. Um, let's see. This is a more complicated question, so I tried to send a link, but I'll, I'll put it to you anyway. Um, this is uh, David, and he has been researching river cruises on the Danube for the fall of 2022 for eight to 10 days. And this is too much to answer probably in one mouthful, but um, he, he says, what are the features provided with Uniworld, Viking, Amman Waterways, and Avalon as far as occupancy experiences or excursions extend land stay? And I don't expect you to answer in depth, but I mean, maybe you kind of give us a yep. high level answer on that, please. Absolutely, great question, Michael. And they're all phenomenal um, river cruise lines that you mentioned. Um, with Uniworld, this is actually the ship, the one that I'm on, I wish I was on right now, the SS Maria Teresa, the ship that we have on the Danube. So as you can see from the, uh, the, the, the hand, um, the hand golden uh, rails to the fresco uh, painted ceiling. So the decor is going to be very Baroque, very uh, Viennese, very much catered towards those destinations that we're visiting. And our ships are very intimate. So this particular ship is just under uh, 148 guests. On average, our ships are about 130 guests. Um, we have on this particular ship, there's a movie theater on board. We have an indoor pool. Um, of course, we have the different lounges, local entertainers that come on board, 25 bikes that you can use to venture off and explore those different cities and towns. And then some of those excursions that I mentioned, like visiting the Schönbrunn Palace after hours when nobody else is there in Vienna. So just a lot of unique excursions that, that we have available. Um, once again, all incredible brands that, that you mentioned, but our um, as, as you see, our experience is going to be unique in our own way. Um, hopefully that kind of gives you an overview. Um, but we do have some phenomenal itineraries on the Danube, our delightful Danube in Prague, um, just to name one of them. But hopefully uh, that answers a little bit. That's great. And I can also say um, I do like all of those cruise lines as well. And I would say that the three you named would position themselves as maybe a premium line and Uniworld would be more of a luxury line. And Uniworld would be more inclusive. So all of your shore excursions are included, for example, whereas um, with some of the others, they might have one shore excursion included per port. And in terms of inclusions, I would say they're more like you by Uniworld, whereas Uniworld is, is totally inclusive. Is that fair to say, Eddie? Yeah, that's a that's a great um, that's a great point. We do have very few excursions, which are called our masterpiece collection. That might be something of um, you know more curated or a little bit bit unique um, per itinerary. Um, that would be for an additional cost, but it's it's very safe to say that we're mostly all inclusive for our excursions. And as you mentioned, with you by Uniworld, it's about ten to eleven per itinerary, so you'll definitely have at least one per day. Um, and I know that you mentioned some of those other travel brands, um, River Cruise Lines have a very similar concept to, to that U by Uniworld, but definitely with Uniworld, it's, you know, premium alcohol, all inclusive uh, excursions, gratuities, Wi-Fi, even transportation to and from the airport. And we've, we've actually made a lot of additions to U by Uniworld because before we didn't have transfers included. It used to be two meals per day that were included. Um, we didn't have beer and wine served during lunch and dinner. So those are all brand new for 2021 that were incorporated on U by Uniworld. On you, yeah. Okay, uh, next question um, from Steve. And uh, he said, the presenter is featuring Uniworld's newer ships. If a passenger, however, is unlucky enough to have to settle for one of Uniworld's older ships, what will the passenger not experience compared to the new ships? Everything will, will be the exact same. So our ships, I just wanted to highlight some of the newer ones that we have in our fleet, but even the, the ships that were inaugurated, let's say in, um, in 2014 or 2015 or 2012, they are all absolutely stunning and beautifully appointed. By 2025, all of our ships are gonna be converted into super ships, um, but every single one of our ships, actually one of our more mature ships is one of my favorite ones, the River Queen. Um, she is absolutely stunning. She has a, wo uh, a woodworking fireplace 
that is still on board, the only one that's in our fleet. So each ship does have its unique features and they're all maintained, all beautifully appointed and, and all absolutely stunning catered towards those destinations. So even if it's not one of the newer ships that are coming out this year, the ones that we have that are in our fleet are all going to be absolutely phenomenal. Okay, great. Um, we've got a question here about solo travelers. Great, yep, great question. We actually waive the single supplement on over 150 departures for this year. Um, so it's not reduced, it's actually waived. Um, so we have some phenomenal uh, promotions right now for our, our single travelers and solo travelers. Um, and that's for you by Uniworld and also Uniworld combined. Great, great, thank you. Uh, here is one uh, that says, uh, are all excursions on Uniworld included or extra? And I think you really already answered that and 99% of them are included, but there's some of these masterpiece collections which be something just extra special that um, might be an extra charge. But I know from our, my own experience on Uniworld, it's the, the exclusive access to like St. Mark's when we went after they closed and all the throngs of crowds were out. Not only did we get to go in there, but then we go downstairs to where it's supposed to be St. Mark uh, into this um, area that the general public doesn't generally have access. So for me, I love those things that money really can't buy. It's this, this exclusivity that uh, Uniworld really offers in some of these excursions that are included. Um, oh, can you tell us what super ships means? Yes, great question. So our super ships are our, our newer ships and they're larger than our um, more mature ships. Some of the more mature ships are about 128 guests and some of the super ships, not all of them, are about 148. So they're just um, larger suites, larger, um, a little bit larger of a ship. Um, I mean, the, the maximum that you can have as far as length is uh, 443 feet on the Rhine River and the Danube. So you can only make them so large, um, but those are a little bit of a larger and newer ships are the um, super ships, they're called the SS. Um, I have a question that wants a comparison against a specific cruise line. Good with that? Yeah, absolutely. Um, William asks, please compare Uniworld to Talc on the Danube. That's a great question. So Talc, um, I would say is, is one of the brands that is very similar to ours, as far as uh, from what I'm, uh, I understand, they're mostly all-inclusive as well. So they're also a uh, luxury brand, all-inclusive experience. I haven't, um, I don't know too much about Talc, um, but from, from a Uniworld standpoint, I know, you know, of course we're all inclusive and you can kind of see the decor and the differences from what we offer. But Talc, I would say is, is very similar to the, um, to the extent where they're, they're all inclusive and, and they're also in that luxury, uh, I, I guess, lu luxury level as well. Yeah, I can answer. Um, or Kelly, you want to take a stab at it? We've both been on both. Oh, yeah, and I, and I agree with you about um, service level and inclusions, but I would say that my opinion of the main difference is the fact that all of the ships in the Uniworld fleet are all completely unique and just different from one another and just spectacular really yeah exactly so so talc is um their ships are, are beautiful ships also but they do not have this type of decor they do not have um you know luxury art collections on board um things like that but in terms of inclusivity and special access um you know everything being included they are on the same level as Uniworld. Um, but as far as uh, as far as the the decor is a big difference. And of course, the people are different um, on all these on all these cruise lines. And it's it's a nuance that you just have to experience yourself. And I don't think that one is better than another. It's just that they're different. And as you experience one, um, you know, I'll, I'll put it this way, if 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 William came into my office and asked me that question, and I didn't already know him, I would spend about 15 minutes talking to him about the types of things he likes, like what sort of hotel brands he, he prefers and what types of things he are, are important to him. And I could make a, a, a better judgment based on what might be the base, best fit for him personally, based on my personal experience and, and kind of matching that up. But um, I, I don't, I don't, 
pick one as being better than the other. I think they're both very good brands, just like Eddie said. And let's see. Oh, did you tell did you tell me about your promotion that's going on right now, Eddie? Yes. Yeah, so our promotion currently right now is thirty up to thirty percent off on our twenty twenty one departures, and that is running through the end of March. So we have some very very competitive pricing for Uniworld and also for You by Uniworld. I know You by Uniworld has some savings this year for as low as about eighteen hundred dollars, um, roughly. And and with Uniworld, we also have some phenomenal promotions that would be available as well with those up to 30% off savings. Fantastic. And reach out to us if you want to book a Uniworld cruise or a U by Uniworld or rail and cruise, which uh, sounds really fun. And um, you can, again, uh, Michael at mgatravel.com or just go to mgatravel.com. Uh, you can also check out other um, CTE live events. Um, we can put a little added value on your uh, reservation if you make a booking with us uh, before the end of the month. And uh, at any time, we're here to help answer your questions. Um, we really are river cruise specialists. And um, we love river cruising and we like introducing people or, or people that already have cruised, maybe stepping up to the next level and uh, appreciating a, an even better experience, just like we did with Uniworld. Uh, so you thank you, everybody. For, oh, there's two more questions. Sorry. Um, are there any promotional rates for 2022? Yes, yeah, so we do also have promotions that are in place for 2022 with some um, different discounts that would be available. So yes, absolutely. Yep, just reach out to, to me and uh, for some specific dates and sailings and I can get you some specific numbers. And um, does Eddie have any inside info on when the EU countries will open up to US citizens? Get your crystal ball out. Great, yeah, great, great question. Um, we're very hopeful for the summertime. Of course, um, you know, it, it, everything is constantly changing and and the health and the safety of our, of our guests and our employees is the number one most important. So we're going to make sure that it's it's completely safe for, for us to travel, but we are hopeful for the summer. We have departures that are in place in, uh, in May, June that we're very hopeful for. So, but as you know, Michael, that um, of course is, is constantly changing and we'll always be monitoring all of our travel partners and, and guests as well with uh, the updates. And I'm sure that um, Uniworld's not gonna go if they can't offer the full experience and it's gonna be safe for travel and that restrictions are, you know, are make it possible to, to have that full experience. So um, keep that in mind. And, and um, I, I'm telling people, you know, let's, let's start looking summer summer or maybe fall of this year we these vaccines rolling out let's hope they continue successfully and i'm seeing getting more and more calls every day hey i'm getting my second shot in three days and i want to talk about travel for later this year and so i think the consumer confidence is coming back and exactly when i don't think anybody can can state just yet but it just that light at the end of the tunnel keeps getting brighter to me so i'm looking forward to those days and traveling again as i'm I'm sure all of you are, <laughs> my wife especially. Um, okay, everybody. Well, thank you for joining us uh, as uh, clients I see on the line and new and new attendees as well. Uh, I hope you'll join us on another one or call and uh, learn more about Uniworld. Um, stay tuned for uh, our picture album of our Uniworld cruise. And again, feel free to reach out to us. And Eddie, thank you very, very much for being with us today and taking the time. Thank you so much, Michael and Kelly and MGA Travel. Um, I greatly appreciate your partnership and, and thank you for allowing me to come on and, and present. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Kelly. Uh, love you, girl. And everybody, thank you for joining us today. Have a great day.